I'm here, Anne Priscilla, with esteemed British bridal designer Sassy Holford, and I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. So, firstly, how did you begin designing wedding dresses? What got you started? Um, I started when a friend of mine at school was getting married, and uh, she just sort of said, "What?" Well, oh, so the only sad thing is I can't afford a wedding dress, and it just didn't dawn on me. I said, "Well, I'll make you one." And 34 years later, <laughs> I'm still making wedding dresses. Here. Fabulous, <laughs> absolutely. And how, in your opinion, has the industry changed since you've been, been designing wedding dresses? In the time I've been designing dresses, the, uh, the wedding world has changed considerably. <laughs> I mean, the biggest thing would have been when you, you didn't have to just get married in a church. That really opened up the market and also allowed you as a designer to be a lot more creative, it sort of it sort of broke with very traditional moulds. Mm -hmm. So you had that flexibility then for all the different venues. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And how do you gain inspiration each year for every single collection? Obviously, having having such a broad range of collections, how do you constantly come up with new things? I think if you ask my husband, he'd say it's because I've actually got sort of an attention span of sort of a, a child. <laughs> so as, as soon as I've created a collection, mm -hmm. um, you find that then you. It's almost like you're never satisfied, you then want to go and create again. Continually improve. And you just want to improve. Um, but because Bridal now runs and keeps an eye on fashion, you know, you can be inspired anywhere from the Paris catwalks to to the high street to seeing your clients. Mm -hmm. So you have that wealth of inspiration to, it, to build it's on. Say there's, it, it's around you all the time if mm -hmm. you're looking for it. Fabulous. And what would you say characterises a sassy bride? Um, I always think a sassy bride is one that has a quiet confidence about her. Mm -hmm. She is. She usually has a career, um, and she doesn't need to. It's an understated style rather than a screaming style. Mm -hmm. So I'd say she has an inner confidence. Absolutely, definitely, I would agree. Um, and what would your advice be for a bride to be when she's starting her search? I think. Again, the one thing that's changed now is almost there is so much out there that it can be completely overwhelming. Mm -hmm. um, and when you, so I would do research. The one thing you have is is the internet. Uh, you have magazines, and you, as you probably haven't bought a wedding dress before, knowledge is power. So mm -hmm. really, so sort of do your homework before you go running around trying on lots and lots of dresses, and, and you can just get snow blind. So you really need to have a, a focus point but allow yourself to be advised by senior consultants that kind of know know their dresses. Mm -hmm. So take that take that advice and, and mould it to your own style. Yeah, definitely get definitely get out that have got really good reputations. I do. My dresses only hang in shops that have you know impeccable reputations. That's really important. Mm -hmm. um, and what makes you choose a store then, like Anne Priscilla, to stock your dresses in? I feel that they can really represent me and my product well. I know that they will look after the client. When you buy a wedding dress, it's not like usual shopping. It doesn't go in a bag. You don't leave the store. It's the beginning of a relationship. Mm -hmm. And that's one that you, everybody wants the bride to enjoy. So I will only put my product where I truly believe the bride will have a, a fantastic experience. That's good to know. Um, and what is the difference in terms of garments that are manufactured abroad and garments that are manufactured in the UK? Obviously yours are all created in the UK, so would you say there was a massive difference? What would you feel the difference was? I'm passionate about my dresses being made in the mm -hmm. UK. Um, I feel that we can add a quality and a service that I know can't be replicated. Um, I, you know, they, they can't get the, the variants, you know, we can mm -hmm. do sort of bespoke pieces and, and every dress we make is made with a bride's name attached to that order. So it's not just a row of size 10 dresses waiting for someone to pick it off mm -hmm. um, and hope it's close. Yeah. Um, even if it's a, a stand size dress, the bride has been checked for that size and it, the dress is made specifically for her. That's definitely something that you can, it's the experience then I think, more than anything, having it, that personal experience. It is, we like to make it a personal experience. And lastly, what can we look forward to in the new collection? Um, I'm having super fun at the moment. I'm in the midst of creating the new collection. Um, I'm doing some, I'm cutting some real shapes this time, <laughs> I think is the best way to put it. And I'm also creating a collection of dresses 
and accessories where the bride can decide and create her own dress so she's kind of in control of the design a little bit as well so the client feels involved um, and you know, with, with different tops and also dresses that can be transformed from a beautiful ceremonial dress mm -hmm. into a, a really gorgeous slightly sexy evening <laughs> dress because the wedding day now is a much longer yeah. affair. Well that's fabulous and we look forward to seeing everything you've got in store for 2016. It's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.